Hello, welcome back to Richtech. Today we've got uh, something different from our normal uh, repairs. Today we are going to be working on a Microsoft product. This is a Microsoft Surface Pro charger for 15 volts. And uh, it is good in all aspects except here. It seems uh, that Microsoft has uh, inherited this uh, problem from Apple where we have wires or cables getting damaged at the junction where the charger meets the cable. So these are fairly common problem in Apple products but now we've seen it in uh, also Windows products uh, or Microsoft products. So I'm going to attempt to repair this. The only challenge is that opening these uh, charger is very difficult it's not like the apple one so these are new to me too and i hope uh, we are going to learn together i'm also hoping that i'll not be required to open it that uh, i can always uh, repair it without opening it up i want to try a method that i know So here we are, after some huffing and puffing, pulling with my screw, uh, long nose pliers and also using this screwdriver and finally this scissor, I was able to pull this junction out of the charger body itself. So I want to see if I can slide this junction out of this place so that I can uh, get the wires and solder them together. Now this is completely out of the charger, you can see the hole in there. So my uh, hope is that I'll be able to return this back in there. And also this will be good so that you can spare us destroying the top of this charger. So pull it out all the way out. And so this is where we are right now. So that's the inside of the charger, you can see some components in there in yellow. And uh, now you want to pull out this junction without straining the cable from inside because where it is attached is very delicate. Before we go far, I'll cut off this portion because we don't need it with a pair of scissors so that we can now work on this uh, cleanly. Now using a razor, I've cut off from behind this uh, uh, junction, I've cut off the outer insulation of this cable. The outer insulation which I'm talking about is this. I'm cutting all around so that the wires inside can be exposed as in this case. It's difficult to see but uh, if you focus on uh, that end you can see the wires are showing. The aim here is that I want this insulation, the outer insulation to come out with this. When I pull this, I want to pull it so that the wires remain attached where they are attached and I can pull this junction out without that uh, those wires. So with my pair of pliers I've been able to hold the wires and then pull the junction out on its own. And here we are. These are the result we want. To have the wires intact, none of them is uh, destroyed. And you can see where I cut off uh, the insulation and now these wires are ready to be soldered back to our cable and now I want to prepare this junction so that I can thread this back in here as in a Mac, as a MacBook uh, charger junction I also do this with uh, MagSafe chargers I thread this back in so that uh, it can come out through this other side and I solder it back to these wires. So I want to prepare this and I'll use my, uh, I think I'll use my drill to go in through here or unless this can come out easily. Let's see. Let's see if this can come out easily. There's some bits and pieces remaining, so we'll drill it out and have a neat hole in there. Now these are the ends of the 
This is the end of the rubber insulation which we cut and which we want to drill out. As you can see it's attached to this junction with I think glue. So it would have been impossible for us to pull it out without pulling the cables too. So that's why I cut it and uh, was careful not to cut the wires and also to have only this come out. So I want to drill this all through and hopefully remove the remaining wires plus the uh, that insulation which is in there. opening for threading in our cable and uh, this is how we go about it now let's push this through here and hopefully it comes out through the other end you can rotate it so that uh, it goes through so I'll thread this in through here now that this cable has been threaded through this junction, I'll prepare this junction for soldering. This is not straightforward, just remove the outer insulation and proceed. Here we are, expose the wires inside and uh, get them ready for soldering. I'll prepare this other end next to the charger too. I want to solder this as near as possible to the charger body so that uh, we have little uh, folds of this wire going back in here because the space inside here is too uh, crowded or too small so that's enough I'll uh, remove the insulation from the two the blue and the pink Apply solder to both uh, portions of the both parts of the cable, the charger size side and the cable side. Make sure the solder goes round. Each wire. Be careful with the blue why it's very delicate it does not uh, hold the uh, solder very easily but here we are now all our ends are uh, soldered or have solder now it's easy we just join the wires together already our junction is in so let's uh, solder this together Let's start with the bare wire here. That's a good uh, joint. So we insulate this portion of the this wire which we have uh, soldered. The joint is good. This is before we solder the other wires. 
and uh, don't worry if you don't insulate the whole bit of it the most important thing is that uh, these others will be soldered and uh, will be insulated the blue and the pink will be insulated so these are the ones you're worried about you don't want them to be bare the blue wire we've also soldered it and it's uh, sturdy enough let's see from this other side uh, it appears to be strong enough and so let this too with a piece of tip make sure that this is covered here's the last wire soldered and now I'm insulating it. Now you can also use heat shrink tubing for this, but uh, the only caveat will be that uh, it is once shrunk, heat shrink tubing is not very flexible because we need to return everything back in there. It may be it may cause us trouble. So. That is our so heat shrink tubing might cause a problem going back through this hole. So insulating tape is good because it's flexible, and uh, now I can just push it back in. And that's the other delicate thing we have here. You don't want to break or cut any of these wires. Once we pushed our wires inside. Uh, the charger body itself it's time to secure this to that point and we want to pull this and fix it here with super glue and uh, it's important that we do this uh, very near to the charger body so i'll put some super glue just right next to this and there it is now the joint is stuck at that point and now we can just push this back in. This joint is stuck to the cable so just push this joint back in ensuring that it goes through this hole. We just put it this way so that you can see it clearly. Uh, it goes through this hole without any issue but you can start uh, pushing it from one side to the other using something sharp as this uh, if it doesn't fit you can use this a flat piece of screwdriver or uh, let's see the screwdriver will do we can use our scissor but we need to be very careful I'm using the scissor because its tip is pointed and it can be able to push this back nicely. But we need to be very careful so that we don't cut any wires. Almost there, you can push the last few millimeters with your hand. You can still use uh, this flat screwdriver just to push it completely in. Now, to ensure that this remains in there permanently, we could also add a drop of glue, but it's not really necessary. Just put glue all around. Then push this back in place. Now I must confess that this is the first 
uh, surface pro charger i've ever worked on and uh, i was uh, doing it uh, while you were watching so i'm really impressed anyway by the but i'm really impressed by the results as you can see the joint is really sturdy and this is not going anywhere and uh, you can see it's also neat no bulges or anything at the joint there and uh, this charger was given to me by a friend of mine to repair it and I'm going to suggest to this friend of mine to store it or to keep it with this wire folded and also I'd advise any ma Microsoft Surface Pro owner to store their charger this way or to use it while this cable is folded this way and uh, this cable can be held together with a piece of uh, insulating tape and this should prolong the life of this charger so let me show you how to do this and uh, that's our complete charger and I'll put this tape around here so as to hold the cable in place as you can see when this cable leaves the charger board itself you need it to be straight and because it bends around here that's why the cable breaks around here so I would propose to the owner of this charger to keep and to maintain this insulating tape which I've wound up and it's holding the cable at this point so that this cable does not suffer any more damage at the end as you can see the work working on this at that point is very tricky and uh, very time consuming and it's also very delicate you could destroy a lot of things but I uh, think uh, we are grateful that this we've not destroyed this at any point we've been uh, I've been able to open the charger at this point and repair it at that point and uh, the top of the surface pro charger is good and the end is also good so here is our complete repaired surface pro charger and this should have a new lease of life if you like such content kindly consider subscribing liking and sharing once again i appreciate you for your time for viewing and watching all this to the end